good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the role of France in ratification of Treaty of Severs. Anti-Armenian NISP has not decreased since then. The Armenian Ombudsman sent a message on the occasion of the 32nd anniversary of the programs of Armenians in Baku. In the absence of independent observers, there are no mechanisms in our South to resolve the shooting issue, Human Rights Watch report. Western Armenia State Radio continues to work for its listeners. At has condemned Sankara's attack on Greek president. Avalanches occurred in three different points of one province of Western Armenia. The Akunga Ensemble will perform a concert. In 1920, France was not only a member of the Supreme Soviet of Elias, but also its chairman. In April 1920, within the framework of the San Remo Conference, France had already accepted a historical, legal and political fact that followed the pogroms of Armenians in Chushi on March 1920. The legal political fact that Artsakh became in 1920 an integral part of the Republic of Armenia. France signed the International Peace Treaty in Severs and received its own documents. The president of Azerbaijan in fact threatens not only Mrs. Valerie Pakres, but all French or other elected officials who travel to occupy the Azerbaijan Artsakh. It is high time that France found a reason to write ratified the Treaty of Severs and defended the Armenians of Artsakh and the French elected officials who are planning to help Armenian families affected by the last Artsakh liberation war, speech by the President of Western Armenia, Armena Abrahaman. Armenian Ombudsman Arman Tatoyan said a message on the occasion of the 32nd anniversary of programs of Armenians in Baku. The message in particular says, The programs of Armenians in Baku that began on the day 33 years ago were a direct consequence of states responded anti-Armenianism. Today marked the 32nd anniversary of these programs. The third in Baku against the Armenians in 1905 and in 1980 after the mass pogroms. In 1990, as a result of the Armenian pogroms on January 13 and 19, numerous Armenians were killed, derived of property and tortured in Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. The facts show that the programs were facilitated by law enforcement agencies, public utilities workers, provided the address of apartments of Armenians, ambulance doctors presented the deaths of Armenians as heart disorders. According to various sources, up to 450 people and more were killed. We are talking about ethnic cleansing and Azerbaijani policy of genocide, which was based on anti-Armenian with state support against Armenians. Genocide of Armenian people, torture of Armenian, were encouraged by Azerbaijani authorities. The international community and especially international structures with a mandate to protect human rights should take decisive steps to prevent the condemnable propaganda of anti-Armenianism and hostility. The 2020 truce ended a six-week war in Artsakh and its surroundings, but periodic shooting in post-war period created an unstable situation, Human Rights Watch claims. According to publication, the ongoing incidents of hostility threatened the safety of Armenian civilians living in the villages of Artsakh and along the Armenian Azerbaijani border. It is reported that human rights organization state that Azerbaijan continues to detain and convict Armenian captives of various terms. Numerous Armenian captives of war were subjected to cruel and degrading treatment and torture. Human Rights Watch report on Armenia this year. Since its opening, Western Armenia Radio has continued its pro-Armenian activities, presenting exclusively real news and stories from both Western Armenia and from around the world to our radio listeners of all Armenians. President of Western Armenia Armenak Abrahman noted the importance of the role of radio, stressing that everything is being done at the highest level for Armenians of Western Armenia. The speech was delivered by Seda Melikan, who said that the radio will operate 24 hours in different broadcasts, in particular noting our our compatriots are not alone there. There is the Republic of Armenia, which has already done quite a big thing for them, and continues that we must be able to organize our radio broadcast too correctly that our compatriots of Western Armenia understand that they keep the Armenian culture, despite the fact that they have changed their religion, although they speak a different language. In conclusion, she said, the official language of Western Armenia is Armenian, and our compatriots should be ready to speak the same language. 
Others condemned the genocide against the Armenian's people in 1940-1923 and cursed attack on Greek President Katerina Sokolopoulou over statement about the genocide of Pontic Greek in the Ottoman Empire, once again violating the elementary rules of diplomatic practice the Turkish side is attacking a high-ranking Greek official, in this case the President of Republic. Unfortunately, the Turkish side is once again destroying reality and hiding not only what happened in the past but also its current policy policy, in which it violates international law every day, creates tension and poisons the atmosphere between the two countries, the Greek foreign ministry stress. Earlier, the Greek president called the massacres of Ponti Greek genocide. The Turkish foreign ministry called the statement senseless. Avalanches occurred at three different points of Bakhchisara Highway in the one province of Western Armenia. As a result of the measures taken, the Chanshin Company terms rescued citizens who were in blockade car and closed the road on warning. In connection with the incident, the doctoral faculty of water management of university, Mustafa Akush, reacted as follows. We are returning from here because the road is closed. This region is very important. Most of water flowing into the Tigris River is thrown out from here. If it snows during this period, it means that water supplies are provided for everyone who uses Tigris water for agriculture and other needs. Therefore, these areas are strategic important. The state ethnographic ensemble Akung will make a speech at a concert hall Arne Babajanyan, which will be held on January 24. Then the ensemble will travel to Moscow to present several concerts and distribute Armenian song, dance and music. It should be noted that the ethnographic ensemble Akung of State Philharmonic of Armenia and on various stages of the world has been presenting Armenian national art at a high level for many years, fundamentally preserving valuable national musical and cultural customs and traditions. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.